Hello, welcome back. I'm John Arnold from Photo Walkthrough, and I'm here with Robin, who is a Leica Academy tutor, and he is here to show us a brand new camera, a brand new system from Leica. This is the Leica T system. Can you tell us uh, uh, a little bit about the, uh, about the Leica T, Robin? I can indeed. So, yeah, the first very important thing to know is this is a new system from Leica. Currently, Leica have the M system, the S system, and now we're introducing the, the T system. Um, it's a newly designed body. There will be newly designed lenses, two available on launch. This is the 18 to 56, which is equivalent to a 28 to 85. And there will also be a 35 prime lens, an F2, which will also be available on launch. And later on in the future, there will be two more zoom le lenses added to the range. Right, and th so this presumably is uh, available as a body only camera. Um, uh, 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 I think in the initial months, the, the camera will be sold more as a system. As availability gets better, then there will be um, body-only options out there. Right, and presumably this, uh, you've got a, a viewfinder on there. That yeah, is... this is one of the optional accessories. Mm -hmm. So this is called the VisoFlex. Ah, right, it flips uh, up. It flips up to a 90 degree angle. Um, it also has a GPS built inside. Oh, in the, in the viewfinder? In the viewfinder. Awesome. And one of the reasons why they put the GPS in the VisaFlex is because the body... Can, as I, you get, can, can I get a shot of the back? Can you just, get, yeah. Just, yep. The actual body is milled out of one solid piece of aluminium. Right. Uh, so there's no corners cut here. It's a, a very difficult process, um, but the idea was to have an absolutely solid structure. So therefore the, the sensor inside the camera is absolutely completely steady and therefore picture quality is improved. Right, okay. Now you've got um, a touch screen on the back of that. Yeah, a huge um, high resolution touch screen. Beautiful large touch screen and that's, that's almost all the controls except for these two, two dials on the top. Two dials here. on the top, which I'll try to turn on there. Hopefully we've got okay. some power. You might need to move around to get the light. So there, we go. Oh, there we go. Can, we can you see, see the screen. that there? Yep, yep. So yeah, we have two dials at the top mm -hmm. and this huge area high resolution touch screen. Um, these two dials here are programmable. Great. Um, you can see here you've got a little home camera symbol. Mm -hmm. Press that symbol there and it opens up these little icons here. Now, the, the, you, you're probably going to see some similarities to how an iPhone functions. Get a load of refle reflections, oh, but uh, let's just move around a little bit yeah. this way. Can you show me where? And uh, there is good, yeah. Great. Okay, so we have nine programmable rectangles here on the home screen. So, so this is your personal home this screen. This is your personal yep. home screen. So let's say, for example, you don't want one of these icons here. Mm -hmm. Let's try and demonstrate that now. So press and hold, and I can drag that to the trash symbol over here, and that's now gone. And it's gone. Okay, so you could, for example, just have your top three favorite icons here, which you find yourself using most often. Mm -hmm. If you want to add something to the home screen, we can come into the main settings menu where you have all your options here. And uh, let's say I want to add, let's say, focus aid. Press and hold and drag that to the home icon here. And now, if I go to the home icon, you'll see that down there. Simple, beautifully simple. Now, what about controlling how these, you said these, these dials are programmable. How would you change those? Okay, so let's say, for example, we're shooting in aperture parity. That's the mode we're currently in. Okay. I'll just show you that. So, aperture parity. At the moment, we have your f-stop on the right-hand dial. Mm -hmm. And that will change. Number, so you'll see changes in the top left corner. Changing in the top left corner there. Yep. Okay. On the left-hand side, it's currently set to autofocus, manual focus. Okay. So, I mean, personally, I like to use aperture parity with exposure compensation. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So let me just bring those dials up. Let me just press that icon there. And exposure compensation, simple as that. So right. now the left dial is your exposure compensation. Yeah. And you see that moving. You right can see that changing point. right in the middle there. EVF is changing, yeah. yeah. That, that is, I think, one of the most impressive new features. That, that, that real quick, easy programmability of those dials makes it so easy to use. Um, Absolutely. That, that, that is fabulous, I love that. Now, what about the, uh, the sensor in this beast? Is this is uh, APS-C, I think, is it's it? It's an APS-C sensor. Um, Leica are very um, proud to claim that it's the best in class. Mm -hmm. um, best lenses in the APS-C category as well. Um, and let me show you one other thing, because we haven't shown you this. Okay, yeah. If, if we were to take an image, mm -hmm. so let's take a shot. Oh, right. So, yeah, when we want to review the pictures. Exactly, because yeah. you'll notice there's hardly any buttons available on this camera. Yeah. They just want a pure minimalist design. So to play back, it's as simple as... 
drag down. Slide down, got it. And then you've got the, if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in the picture, zoom in like so. Pinch to zoom, just Pinch like on a phone. And move around. Yeah, and what about going from picture to picture? Picture to picture, so let's just zoom out, then we can just slide. Slide across. Don't know what's on yeah, here. Again, it's exactly a like a phone. This is going to be totally familiar to anyone that's used a camera phone. Absolutely. And, uh, and it got all the power and, and quality of a Leica camera. So, uh, any idea when these are going to be available? There will be a few uh, lucky people able to buy one today. Today? today. Well, hey. I think they, they will probably sell <laughs> I better not go home with sell one. extremely quickly. <laughs> um, uh, we're expecting better availability than the M camera. Right. Um, but we are expecting a huge initial demand. Right. Oh, and there's one other little feature that, that I absolutely love. Yeah, I, you, you've got these, um, you've got a, 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 a neck strap on it. Yes. But when you take this neck strap off, it's uh, flush to the body. It is, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have the key to hand. No, no, you don't have to but show us that. But if, if you can see that, there's a little, a little hole. tiny pinhole. Yeah, you, all, all the cameras come with a little special key. Um, press the little key inside, the um, little strap will snap out. Mm -hmm. And to put it back in, just one simple click. Yeah, That's and, and there's a little cover to, to fill the hole if you've not got That's the next strap on. Yeah. But the important thing is that these lugs don't stick out. If, you li if like me, you don't wear a neck strap, you haven't got these, these lugs sticking out Absolutely. on the side of the camera forever, Absolutely. which, which yeah. really bugs me that does. That's, <laughs> it, and, and also this, this strap is, a, is like a silicon strap. That's right. And I think you do a wrist strap version of this. That yeah, goes. and there's also going to be a range of accessories available to yeah. kind of customize your camera and also protect it. So it's um, a very contemporary feeling camera. It's aimed at, who, who's the customer for this? This is younger photographers, is um, it? Yeah, I mean, I think there's going to be a, a couple of markets. I, I, I see current M owners also looking at this because there right. is also an M adapter available. Oh, so you can put the M lenses on it you too? You can use all the M lenses. Um, so yeah, that's a, 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 you know, a current market that we'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll tap into. Oh, I'm sure. Um, and then, yeah. There are Leica collectors who buy absolutely. everything. So. And then, you know, uh, yeah, perhaps a younger, you know, more contemporary um, audience, people that really appreciate design and aesthetic. Because um, you know it's a very tactile product. It's 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 designed by. Our it is. Design. It's not your dad's camera, is it? This is this is a very modern <laughs> no, contemporary. It, it, you know, it's, it's a camera you, you want to pick up. You you, know, you want to use. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's beautiful. And oh, and did we talk about price? We talked about yeah so, um, lenses. I believe the body is going to retail at thirteen fifty. Right. Um, and then the lenses are going to be a similar price. Okay. That. Thank you very much, Robin. That's exactly Pleasure. what I wanted to know. Thanks a lot, mate. Pleasure. Thank you. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.